What's going on with Tornado Cash? How big of a deal is this actually? In this video, we're going to look at various data points of how much Tornado Cash is actually being used, what kind of impact the current regulatory change has and what might the future in the end hold. Now, since the sanctions got imposed, we got withdrawals of roughly 46 million US dollars worth of Ethereum. Is this a lot? Is this a little? Well, we can see there is definitely a decline happening in the funds being locked up in Tornado Cash. So here we've got the deposits and withdrawals per week. And we can see in the current week, the withdrawals are way larger than the deposits, right? Historically, those were somewhat at a balance. Now we mainly see panic withdrawals. And here we've got the tornado cash balance measured in EVE, not in US dollars. So we can see quite a bit of adaption happened since the beginning of 2020. Since then, the balance is somewhat going sideways. So... The service wasn't growing necessarily anymore. With the recent crackdown, we can see that the EVE in the pool declined by roughly 10%. Okay, so from 223K to currently 201K EVE. Now, how much circulating supply of Ethereum is actually in existence? It's 122 million. So 1.2 million would be 1%, but it's not 1.2 million that's being locked up. It's only 200,000. So less than 0.2% of all of Ethereum is locked up in Tornado Cash. 0.2%. All the hype, all the talk, all the controversy around money laundry, it revolves around 0.2% of Ethereum's circulating supply. So we are now seeing all these transfers happening to people like Brian Armstrong of Coinbase, right? The idea being basically, if you're supporting the sanctions, then we simply just send Tornado Cash to your wallets as well, making you become target of the sanctions as well. Now, what will this lead to? Probably simply just more sophisticated ways of identifying Tornado Cash use. I don't think that the regulations themselves will completely revert because in the end, you can really use Tornado Cash to completely anonymize the source of crypto funds. The blunt bans of any wallet that has ever been involved in Tornado Cash is probably going to disappear simply to keep the face of the regulator. But the enforcement is likely going to be pretty weak because there are still centralized exchanges that don't do a lot of KYC, right? If you want to launder money, you don't have to necessarily use Tornado Cash. You can simply just use Qcoin, for example. With Qcoin, you can create an account. You don't have to necessarily do KYC. And there's all kinds of different other approaches. Tornado Cash is only one of them. As users of crypto, we can simply hope that the whole attention around the topic will not spiral out of control, potentially leading to over-regulation, right? We still want crypto to be free. We do want to restrict the illicit activities, but at the same time, not sacrifice all the benefits that crypto technology can provide. So I think it's important to simply appreciate how little of all of crypto is using services such as Tornado Cash. There's no real reason to fight too much over this, right? If you've got crypto and you want to simply convert this into fiat, there's always somebody somewhere that's going to do that, independent of whether or not you have used Tornado Cash. They will then find the way to make that crypto look clean. This is simply an attempt by the regulators to send out a message Let's try to avoid rubbing the message into the face that international enforcement of those rules is pretty much impossible. With crypto, capital controls are a thing of the past. Capital movements are as free as they've ever been. And that's a movement you can't really revert. It's simply just how technology is progressing. The same way you can't control information anymore with a free internet. With crypto, you can't really control capital anymore. It will take time until this is really realized by the regulators. The countries that will understand how to take advantage of this whole situation are probably going to be the winners over the very long term. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. And of course, a like would be appreciated as well. You might also consider joining the Telegram group. Simply search for Bitcoin Strategy Channel within the Telegram app. Last but not least, there's a premium membership. The link is in the video description. It's thebitcoinstrategy.com. If you're wondering how I currently see this market, whether I'm currently buying or selling, feel free to watch this video. Hope to see you in that video and thanks for watching this one. Bye-bye.